And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our next world title fight. And this one will be for the MTGP welterweight world title. Please welcome to the ring, the blue corner, the challenger from Thailand, Sampet Fertex. Sumpet Fertex! Well, it's just 22, a record of 130 fights, 115 wins, a dangerous southpaw coming into his prime. Sumpet Fertex, all the way from Thailand. And now, please welcome to the red corner, Kent's favourite fighting son, Charlie Boy! Well, of all the fighters who have graced this ring since the start of the Muay Thai Grand Prix, surely none have made it their territory more than this man, the reigning defending champion at 67 kilos, Charlie Peters. Another big test for him tonight, the sixth defense of his world title. Having beaten the world-renowned Pecorn in this very ring in December, the looming talk of a battle between he and Leon Harrison is finally coming to fruition with both penning for July the 7th here at the O2. Peter. A patient wait for Peters who's racked up the win since his first world title shot against Fabio Pinker at the beginning of 2016. What a journey it has been since then. What a champion he has been since then. Another title defence for Charlie Peters will be for in the London. MTGP. Minus 66.7 kilogram welterweight world title. This bout will be contested over five three minute rounds. Introducing to you, firstly, fighting out of the blue corner. He brings an impressive record 116 wins, only 14 defeats, and one draw. Representing the Fairtex Training Center. In the beautiful country of Thailand, please welcome Sampet Fertex. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. He brings an excellent record of 47 wins with 15 defeats. He's a three-time world champion. He's the current reigning, defending MTGP welterweight world champion. Representing Double K Gym from Southeast London. It's Charlie Boy Peters. Gentlemen, come to the centre. Charlie Peters, no stranger to this occasion. An event of this magnitude, he's shared the ring with some terrific fighters over the last two or three years. He's risen to the occasion. He's evolved as a fighter and as a champion, and he's made the Indigo at the O2 his backyard. Another difficult defence for him. Hasn't done it the easy way, and in front of him, a young man from Thailand coming into his prime, one with great experience, 115 wins from 130 contests. Samapetch Fairtex, now the famous Fairtex training centre in Pattaya. Both weighed in, bang on, 66.7 kilos yesterday. Both looking in tremendous shape as well, Dave. Yeah, man. Yeah, you can see the, the condition of both guys 
the tie is huge at the weight for me. In very good condition. He's got an eight pack. Um, got the old cauliflower ears from years of clinching. And this is going to be a great matchup. Tough test for Peters, but he rises to the occasion and has defended this title now numerous times. Oh, look at that movement from Peters there. He doesn't want easy fights. He wants to be the best, he wants to face the best. And of course, uh, the looming talk, Dave, of uh, the best in the country, the number one, Liam Harrison. That one been going back and forth for forever, it seems. And finally, they've put pen to paper and we have fingers and toes crossed that they will be in front of us on July the 7th. Yeah, certainly it's a fight that a lot of people want to see and Piers wants to challenge himself and fight the best and Liam Harrison is arguably, and in my eyes, he is the best pound for pound fighter to come out of the UK. Watched him for years, he's always fought top level. Look at that evasion from the tie. So as Charlie Peters say, Harrison was beaten by Pecorn. Peters himself earned a win over Pecorn. And of course, we know it's not that simple as A beats B and B beats C, but certainly Peters is a much improved fighter over the last two and a half, three years since becoming world champion. And surely the gap between them is closer than it's ever been. Yeah, it's going to make for a great fight. But he can't look past this one now, and he's got a very tough opponent in front of him. Some of it's just throwing those hands with absolute venom. Reddening of the nose of Peters as he takes those shots straight down the middle, the, the southpaw left, finding its mark. This is scheduled for five three minute rounds. Well, Peters is always a, a picture of composure, even in the toughest contests. And he's in good hands in that corner, Kieran Kettle. Wealth of experience himself at World Championship level. And he and Charlie have been there time and time again. Here you go, as we watch the replay, some of the action from that round. I wonder if you'll see Sama Pech's straight left, because that landed hard on the face of Peters, and he did well to stay on his feet there in my eyes but and the head movement as well to get out the way the high kick and the two just exchange there you go. smiles a stunning left hand wasn't it yeah and real respect between these two both have got game changing power both real technicians and just going to be nip and tuck isn't it yeah these fights are won and lost on minute actions here we go into round two a right, packed house here now at the Indigo O2. It's uh, a theatrical stage from your viewpoint at home. Our commentary desk is just below where the fighters are. And it's, uh, our view is rather different. An amphitheatre of a few thousand watching on. It's gladiatorial, the high slope of the nosebleed seats, high above the ring, but right above the action makes for a terrific atmosphere for these type of events and it's a unique venue what a lovely high kick from Peters yeah and good block of the counter too his kick finding the mark now Samapetch was doing well to evade he was and again just a wry smile as both know how fine the margins are at this level the speed of the Oncoming fire and the counters. Ties Every. with this experience though. He caught, caught Peters off across the, the sternum there and just took the wind out of him with that body kick. Peters calm and it was a, almost a conscious decision to go down and take a breather. Oh, he had there. to take the count, yep. 
fair tennis will really be looking to capitalise on that because there's no way, even though Peters is up and he's got the poker face on, he'll be completely recovered from that yet, Dave. No, he'll still be feeling it, and, and more so, it's a 10-8 round. So Peters just needs to uh, keep everything together now. He's lost the round 10-8, so there's no point going crazy. He's not going to take it back unless he pushes a count, but you don't want to have to push for that at this stage, so no, better to sit tight and recover. Absolutely, and it comes when it comes, I think. It come when you go looking for it. Goodness me, the reactions of Richard Chatter and <laughs> the counter. And this is uh, fought with just terrific sportsmanship, both appreciating their skills, both acknowledging each other when they land. Hey, nice hey. solid teeth there from Fairtex just to try and give himself a bit of space in the corner. Nice footwork from Peters. Yeah, it gives a whole literal meaning to kicking butt, doesn't it? Absolutely. Oh, wonderful Great. counter and Peter shakes yeah. his head in frustration but there's also admiration there isn't there just a incredibly high skill level Great body kick there from Summer Petch answered straight back by Peters but there's that left hand straight down the middle Peters has got to watch that kind of glancing just landed on the left hand side of the head of Peters and comes straight through the middle but oh, the power of the kick from Summer Petch Fairtex is immense you can feel it from this close up. Well, there I say it, Dave, this is looking the toughest test of Peters' uh, title reign thus far. Yeah, definitely. Summer Pitch, Fairtex is uh, bringing the fight more fierce than Pacon did, I think. He's an active young Thai, he's only 22 years old. So we watch the replay here. There's the kick that winded Peters. Sean Bullen rushes in there, but Summer Pitch Fairtex showing good, good sportsmanship and didn't rush in and do anything rash there. Just the composure and the timing of these guys. There's the counter. Is this the left hand? Yep. Just glanced. I don't think Just it actually landed cleanly, and I think probably uh, a good thing too, because he put everything behind it. See the power on those kicks. Really important that Charlie Peters has a big round. Yeah, this is where it changes changes pace. Fairtex's reactions in round two look particularly impressive. Just reading. The work from Peters. Oh, wow. there's that left hand straight down, and Peters did well to ride that. He rode it brilliantly, didn't he? And there's no way he hasn't felt that. He needs firm, to watch. He needs to watch that left hand. He really does. Summer Petch finding the mark with that from the southpaw stance. Next time after your hands, you throw the kick. Hear that from Kieran Kettle. Next time after you throw the hands, throw the kick. Just not setting up his kick there, Peters. Just letting the kick go without setting up with the hands first. And Summer Petch reading it. Far too experienced for that. Evading and countering well. And even though he's on the ropes, you just feel he's in control of the exchanges at the moment. That power on that kick that Summer Petch throws is immense. Peters landed well, though. It's the swing of the hip. Just puts everything into it. Just the head movement, the reactions. He's almost cat-like in his reflexes. So hard to pin him down, even when he's there. He looks there to be hit. Peters has landed well. Peters landed that left hook on the jaw, and he looked like he'd gone. Looked like his, looked like his legs had gone. The referee's not counting it. And Peters now comes forward. Yeah, but don't rush in and make mistakes, Charlie Peters. Do not get caught on the way in. Just a window of opportunity for Charlie Peters with a minute 20 in round number three. Can he capitalise? And how hurt was Sonnefex Fairtex, who landed well himself there. Back and forth stuff in round number three. 
Nice right hand from Peters there, just backed up the tie, was hurt, left hook. Peters works away to the body. Tie goes down. And suddenly Ty's momentum looking up at the clock. has One shifted. minute to go. There's a lot of time in the round. Peters bears down on him into the clinch, pulls the elbow through as well. How quickly this sport can just change day. Yeah, Peter's being told to let his hands go, and that's what he needs to do. The tie's trying to bite for time and trying to hold on. It's a sign he's, it's a sign he's not comfortable. Such a, a brilliant start from Samafetch Vertex goes forward with a high kick. These ties are notoriously tough, but Peters has hurt him. Left hand comes through from Vertex on the counter, though. Still dangerous is the tie. Charlie Peters needs to let his hands go, and he is eating that left hand on the way in, too, though. It's an exchange, leather for leather. He's got to be careful, left hook lands and Vertex's legs are just not solid underneath him. Lovely little trip there from the tie. What a round this has been. Catches Peters on the way in again, misses with the high kick. Goodness me, exciting our action as you'll see. And a Charlie Peters round. I think Charlie realised he can hurt him there. He definitely he hurt Samapetch Vertex in that round. Took some shots in the process, but here as we watch the replay. I'm trying to find out what the moment that the shot landed, whether he was off balance, whether he was hurt, but certainly the indications here he was hurt because his demeanor That's it. there was it top of the head, wasn't it? Just Left the hook on the temple. He threw the right kick, but it was a setup for that big left hook. Just that temple area scrambles the senses, and whether he was hurt, just didn't quite have his, his wits about him, and his reactions were so sharp in the first two rounds that the discrepancy between that and how his demeanor was at the end of the third was so, so obvious. You can see here, even the way he's there holding himself. There you go, left hand again. Just wasn't able to react to the shots, wasn't able to move out of the way. How quick will his recovery have been? He's had a minute, he smiles at Peters. But this will yeah, be really often, telling. Often the smile is, is a sign that he's uncomfortable and he's recognising that Peter's hurt him there. Well, Peter's landed a good shot immediately. Forty comes again. For me, Peter's can hurt him with hands here though. These ropes, I think, are a little bit loose and that's why everyone's going over here. Charlie Peters first couple of rounds the signs were a little bit worrying and he's just fought his way back into this always an exciting fight when he's involved and whatever the result he's delivered yet again in front of the home crowd Charlie taking the back there and Ty turning forward he comes again elbow down on the top of the head Fairtex Good work was, there from Peters. Yeah, Fairtex just tried to respond with your knees through the middle, but Peters is on the charge. Has the reaction slowed enough for one of those snappy high kicks to come through? Just missing. Oh, Fairtex, did he stun Peters with the hands there? Oh, oh he he's has. taking a cone, he's hurt. Was it an elbow that snuck through? Peters in real pain here. Something's yeah, he's landed. got it on the left eye. There's a big welt on the left eye of Peters, and I think he's going to be counted out here. It's a win to Samapetch, and the referee calling the medics over because his Charlie Peters' left eye socket is just swelling at a rapid pace here. But well, within moments, isn't it? It's, it's completely swollen. And listen, Charlie Peters, he's as tough if we as watch they the come. replay here, watch. It was obviously from the right side of the tie as he takes the elbows here. Yeah. This was a little bit earlier. Just in the heat of the moment. It was, it was brilliant, wasn't it? Just landed the elbow. That was the one that That's came the one. through. Right elbow across, straight across the eye socket. Could be some real damage done This there. one, bang. Left then the right, wasn't point, it? Point of the elbow, straight in the eye socket of Charlie Peters there. Solid finish from Samapetch Fairtex, but what a back and forth fight. And didn't Charlie Peters do himself proud? But this tie is tough. Well, I have to say, Dave, I think this one's got rematch written all over it. Phenomenal contest. And 
Well, Fairtex has earned himself a, a huge number of fans tonight because Charlie Peters is a tough, tough champion to come and beat in his backyard, a fortress that he's made of the Indigo at the O2. It took the perfect shot to put him away in the end and Fairtex had to come through some real adversity in that third round. Peters will look up at that replay and he's looking up at that replay in sync with left us. Elbow. This one now, bang. Oh, just turned Straight. right through it, didn't he? Clipped him, point of the elbow, perfect technique. Charlie Peters' left eye now is almost completely closed and we're probably, what, two minutes out? It was just pure pain that stopped him from getting up to it. wasn't even yeah. so much of a, a kind of blunt force blow where he didn't know where he is. He was genuinely just in real searing pain. Couldn't open the eye and it swelled within, within seconds. Well, he's up, good to see in the two embrace. And the yeah. title has changed hands and you can't fault Charlie Peters for making solid defences. That big fight with Liam Harrison will still stand. But my goodness, what a title way it has been for Peters. And it took a hell of a shot to end that reign. So our fighters now being brought to the centre of the ring and our master of ceremonies, Peter Lowe, is standing by to announce the new 67 kilo champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, show your appreciation for both fighters, please. But after one minute and 32 seconds completed, round number four, your winner by way of knockout, fighting out of the blue corner and the new MTGP welterweight world champion, Sam Badge. Fertex! And show your appreciation for our runner-up, Charlie Peters!